In partnership with the mining industry, NIOSH developed a software program called Evade. This tutorial shows you how to create, save, and perform a basic exposure assessment using the Evade software after you've uploaded your video and logged data onto your computer. Evade matches up recorded video and logged data. The video comes from a worker-mounted camera as shown here. The log data comes from a personal assessment monitor used to measure either dust, noise, diesel, or chemical exposure. This tutorial gives you a basic introduction to the Evade software. For simplicity, you will create a project using just one video channel and one log data channel. First, open Evade from your desktop. Click the File menu, which is the Evade icon in the top left corner of the window. Click New Project. Now you see a Project Editor window and Bookmarks window, both empty. You also see a ribbon of icons across the top of the window. We refer to this menu as the Home Ribbon. On the Home Ribbon, Click Add File, and then New Channel, which is the only option provided. After clicking New Channel, you are prompted to add a video or log. Since you are starting with the video, select Video. Now you're asked to enter a channel name. For this demo, we're using Worker 1 Video. After you name your video, click OK. The File Manager opens prompting you to identify your saved video file. Locate your file and then double click to open it. A video window is now displayed to the right with the title Worker 1 Video. You are now ready to add the log data to the project. On the Home ribbon, click Add File and then New Channel. This time, click Log. Enter a channel name. For this example, enter Worker 1 Dust. Click the Type of Data menu. Click the menu to reveal the commands Generic, Concentration, Light, and Noise. Since you are performing a dust assessment, click Concentration and then click OK. A dialog box prompts you to select an importer for the log data. The options in the list are based on the type of data you previously selected. For this example, click PDR-1500. Next, to select a file to import, click Browse. The file manager prompts you for your Excel data log file. Locate and select this file, and then click to open. Click OK to close the Add File dialog box. The Worker 1 Dust window now appears on the screen, and the Project Editor window now shows the Dust Data channel. Your video and log data are loaded into Evade and ready for use. Now that you have created a project, you can save it to open again later. To save your project, click the File menu and click Save Project As. Give your project a descriptive name so you can easily return to it as needed. Once your video and log files are loaded into Evade, you can view and interact with the project to identify time periods of elevated exposure. Here are a few of the primary software features that you might want to use in your project assessment. To play the project, click Play on the Home ribbon. Video and log data will begin scrolling forward together in real time. Also, the Play command will change to a Pause command, which you can click at any time to start and stop the display. 
Besides watching in real time, you can scroll forward and backward in time throughout an Evade project. There are three ways to do this. First, use the timeline slider on the home ribbon to move the video and dust data together. The elapsed time is displayed so you can find a specific moment. Second, you can click and drag your mouse anywhere in the data log chart to move the display forward or backward in time. Third, you can use the project editor window. In this window, the green line represents a specific point in time of the video and log data. Click and drag this arrow to move to a specific point in the project. Using the Zoom In and Zoom Out Home Ribbon icons, you can more easily see specific time segments in your project where exposure is higher, or get a broader assessment of the entire project. Click within the data log chart to select a specific point in the project timeline shown on the x-axis. Next, navigate back up to the Home Ribbon menu. You'll see three commands, Zoom In, zoom out, and fit to window. Each time that you click zoom in, you will view a smaller section of time in the data window. You'll see the data points spreading further apart. Alternatively, each time you click zoom out, you see a larger section of the data. Last, to see the entire range of the data logged in one window, Click Fit to Window for a snapshot of the project log. To take a closer look at exposure levels and identify any elevated peaks, select minimum and maximum values for the y-axis, which tracks the exposure level for whatever contaminant you are assessing. Click anywhere in the data log chart window, and then click the Options command on the Home Ribbon menu. A dialog box allows you to set a minimum and maximum Y range. The default selection for the Y minimum is Scale All. Change this to Set Value. A text box appears where you can enter the minimum exposure value you want the data log to show. Leave the value set to zero. The default selection for the Y maximum is also Scale All. Change this to Set Value. Type in 500 for the maximum exposure value and then click OK to exit the dialog box. These exposure values can be changed at any time depending on how you want to view the data. Next, you will identify peaks of interest. One way to identify peaks of interest is to add a specific threshold in the log data window. This makes it easier to spot higher exposures. To do this, click Options on the Home ribbon and then click Add Threshold. Enter a threshold value of 100 micrograms per cubic meter. Leave red selected as the color of the threshold line. Click OK. Click OK again to exit the Options dialog box. Now you see a red horizontal line has been added across the log data window to help you more easily identify peaks that are above the allowable dust limit. Another way to identify high exposures is to use bookmarks. The most common feature used scans the entire log data set and creates bookmarks in the timeline for the top peak values. To add bookmarks for the top peaks in your data set, click Add Peaks in the Bookmarks group in the Home ribbon. Enter the number of peaks you want to see in the log data chart. In this case, leave peaks set to the default value of 5. 
Click OK. Two things have happened. First, the bookmarks window on the bottom left was populated with the five highest exposure peaks in the current project. Second, these same peaks are also populated in the data log window to the right, in red. The peaks are labeled Worker 1 Dust Peak 1, Peak 2, Peak 3, and so on. If you click a specific exposure peak in the bookmarks window, you are taken to the event that corresponded with that peak. For example, if you click Worker 1 Dust Peak 1, you are taken to that scenario. Bookmarks identify the top peak values and let you easily return to the events that corresponded to them. Any changes you make to a project, such as setting exposure values or adding bookmarks, should be saved before you exit. To save your project, click the File menu and then click Save Project. For further information about Evade, visit the NIOSH Mining page.